My brother is dead. Glorious Seleucos. Although we began my reign in bitterness, I must say that I grew to trust you. Your vision of growth and prosperity has brought great progress and wealth to the realm. Without you, we would not have had such military success. So our empire owes you a debt that cannot be repaid. I just hope the gods are not loath to repay you now that you are with them. I must admit, this news has wearied me. I have not set eyes on home for more than 40 years, and in that time, I have marched further than most men would in a thousand lifetimes. I could not even be there at your funeral, brother, for by the time the bearers of bad news arrived, you were already encased in stone. But I cannot dwell on your death, lest my last years become devoid of purpose. So instead, I will honor your life all through the empire. Great buildings will be erected. Neglected regions will see investment and we shall empty the coffers to build everywhere. Let it be known as your project, the project of Seleucos, a great man and a man I am proud to say was my brother. Oh brother, do not be afeard, because I believe it won't be long before my weary body gives up, and I can join you among our fathers for some meat, wine and merriment once again at the table of the gods. Hi guys, welcome back. I am Red Zed, and today we are continuing our Seleucid campaign in RTR Imperium Serectum version 0.5. And we can have a look on the map over here as to our enemies right now. Look at Bactria right up here. They've got quite a few settlements, including a large city of Marikanda up there. And uh, Lithinos Pyrgos is a large city as well, which is quite cool. Uh, down here, we can see the Ptolemies end here, and then they have a settlement there. But I'm not convinced that's the only settlement they have. I, it might be, if I, if I remember correctly, but they maybe have one right down here on the Horn of Africa. Um, and, you know, the Adrissians have declared war on us. I don't know why. And the Greek city-states have, you know, also declared war on us. But, oh well. And you can see the Galatians over here are starting to, you know... Uh, expand a little bit. So we're going to fight Cappadocia and the Galatians. We'll probably stay allied with Pontos as long as possible uh, before coming up into this region. But last time we fought two big siege battles. The battle for Palmyra, which was pretty bloody. And then the battle for Caracatta, which was also pretty bloody. Both of the battles were very bloody, in fact. Uh, but without further ado, guys, I just want to say thank you for the continued support on the channel. We have just passed 2,280 subscribers on the way to 3,000. So if you haven't subscribed already, that would be fantastic. And thanks to all of you who have already done so. But without further ado, I think we are at the end of a turn. I don't think we've got anything left to do. Uh, I'm just playing straight on from last time, so I should know. <laughs> I shouldn't think. I should know. But I believe we've retrained everyone. So it's time to click that end turn. Where is that spy? Oh, yeah. That spy's just going through Cappadocia. Oh. Oh. Well, we're obviously going to die. Well, I guess we can't use ships in this region because <laughs> of the Ptolemies. <laughs> Great. You can see quite a bit of trade going on through that region now, which is really nice. I mean, Adrissians, you can blockade those ports. They don't really trade with many people, so whatever. I, I don't really care. <laughs> like, I just really don't care. You're not the Ptolemies. When the Ptolemies were doing it, it was really annoying. And if you cause my settlement to rebel, then yeah, I will care. But apart from that, I don't really care. 11? We've got 11 alerts. Wow. Okay, I'm hoping that's not any civil dis disorder and unrest. So, secondly, so Ariathus, how old are you? 62, and you're still uh, campaigning. So, Anchises, you're, you, you have nine... You have nine management. I was going to say, we should probably take you, you know, fighting. But, 
He's got two plus two morale. That's in friendly territory, so that doesn't count. Let's have a look at Ankisis again. How much morale do you have? We'll take whoever has the better morale. But this guy, is, he's so good at management. I think Ankisis has to manage. Yeah, I'm not seeing any morale yet. He's got good uh, command stats for stuff. Oh, no. Logistics expert. And plus 15% movement points. But I no, I, I think he has to manage. He's too good. So we'll take these boys out. I'm going to leave the elephant behind. And we're going to send them to Sardis. Should be able to get in that turn. Are you joking me? And we are going to keep on recruiting a new army. So let's have a look at this army. If we auto sort it, you know, we've got the Greek Hoplites, the Theroperoi, the Hypastis, and the Chalcospedes. Yeah, you know, I think this army is fine for Anatolia, but it wouldn't be good for Greece. So when we get to Greece, we'll have to uh, start bringing the Agera Speeders in. And as I say, we're going to keep recruiting more. So we're going to keep recruiting more Agira Speeders down here and more Zistaforoi, which we're already doing. And then, yeah, this army needs will go for Halicarnassus before then marching north. Um, and then you. Let's just move you slowly-ish. And we're going to siege down Tyana. This army is a re this is army is really good. They've got Thorakitai in there. Nice, they've... That mercenary Thorakitai, though. Okay, retinue expands. Lots of retinues expanding. Good. We have had a lot of people come of age recently. So, yeah, let's have a look. Antioch, Greek archers. We need to move Antiochus the Angry. Can you get in there, my friend? Can, actually. Good. So we need to make sure all of you are swapped around. And then we need to make sure we're retraining those boys at the end of the turn. And then construction-wise, yeah, we're constructing a lot. Uh, main thing with our construction is making sure we're concentrating on Karakata up here. Look how damaged this army is. It's not good. <laughs> it's really not good. The, prob the reason why I want to go for Kauris is because it's very likely they have uh, Greek colonies there. So what we might do is just keep looking for mercenaries. And if we can get enough mercenaries... Then we can, you know, march on there with a mercenary army and start a recruitment hub over there. Rather than building the recruitment hub in Karakata, which is Iranian. Although they are a little bit Greek. They do have good barracks, but yeah, it's so long. It's going to be 10 turns before we can recruit basic units here. It's a long, long time. A long old time. Right then. So we've got some Theroperoi. This has got some nice mercenaries in this army. I like that. Let's uh, merge those two. Yep. That's fine. Let's get you guys in there. So, two more. If I could get you in. I wonder whether that's enough. He's got one influence, so that would be helping. 65%. So if I get rid of, say, that 52 archer unit. Yes, that's gone up. And then I've got two spaces for these Theroperoi. Fantastic. So we can finally move from Nisa, which is very good. Problem is I have to find that other settlement. <laughs> it's over here somewhere. If, if we had roads, if they had roads in this region, we'd be able to see where it was. <laughs> I believe it's up here. So we'll get moving, and we'll keep building watchtowers in so we, we can, you know, catch it. Probably watchtower here and here. Cool. They're still sieging this down, which is quite annoying, but oh well. I'm glad this has got a lot happier now. I probably shouldn't be building that. I should be building a temple or a sewer instead. So let's build that temple. Uh, sorry, not the sewer. So we've done all our movement up here. It's good. Have we got our boyos down here? Yeah, you keep moving. We can. One of you can man Nisa and one Karakata, and that would be really helpful. 
Now let's have a look at these. I was worrying about them. Odessa has rioting, but it's actually very happy now. So that's strange, but we'll get a shrine to Hera in here anyway. Yeah, they're still uh, doing that. And then Amethus will uh, queue these in. I know if they're already constructing, it's wasting a little bit of money. But, you know, there's so many settlements in this mod that it's worth queuing that in when you can. Because, obviously, if you can't, <laughs> you're a bit screwed. You're like, you're going to forget about it. The spy for Cappadocia has died. We've got three people coming of age. A skinny's over here. You're only 34, so you had that kid very, very young. I want, ideally, you know, the bigger cities down this region to have governors. So I'm thinking, has Jerusalem got a governor? Yeah, it does. What about... Uh, yeah, Samaria would be the next best option. So let's get you in Samaria. We've got good roads all in this region as well. Some good infrastructure. Abderos, the, oh, we've got loads of people. I'm assuming Zoilos, yeah. Where do we send you guys? I mean, a few of these regions are losing generals now. So, I think Nippur doesn't have one, does it? No. So, we'll get one of you into Nippur. You've got two management, that's okay. How about this one? This one? Hmm. I've got ones everywhere. So many generals. I think we'll put you in Kelonai for now. Yeah, we'll get you in Kelonai. Unless... Yeah, no, we're good. We're good. What about up here? That's 9,000. Yeah, we'll get you in our Hapa. Although, how much have you got? Oh, no, we'll get you in our Bella, actually. Get you in our Bella. Some good management going on. Nice bit of campaign management for us to start the episode today. I don't know why I just did a bad Australian accent. I'm sorry, all you Australians. <laughs> I, I, I genuinely don't know where that came from. It just it just came out. Ah, well. Um, so we got this settlement down here. That must be the last one, surely. I, I don't... I'm pretty sure they don't have more down there, but... I guess we'll keep the spy moving. We've also got this spy over here that I keep forgetting to move. You can move down the coast down here. Didn't see a settlement. Fine. So we've moved everyone up this region. We've moved everyone over here, have we? Yep, you've moved. You're going there for retraining. We're carrying on recruiting down this region. And then we're going to go for Halicarnassus. Hmm. So let's build. Let's do our building. I think that's everyone. So Seleucia again needs a building. And yeah, we'll go for the Shrine to Hephaestus. And what I'm going to do is just queue in the Lyceum after that. So we don't need to keep building in there. Damascus. How Greek are you, Damascus? Not much. So I think, yeah, it's really time to start ramping up the Greek over in this region. Trying to get it to spread between... The other regions, and where are we? Antiochi, Migdonia. Let's go for the shrine to Hera. Get rid of some of that corruption. We really need to work on corruption, I would say, in a lot of these regions. Because let's have a look here. Salmon income. You can see 353. 10% has been lost to corruption. And we are so close to our capital at Dura Epilos. But let's put that trade caravan in. How much does that generate? 834. They are very good, those trade caravans. Probably should start building some more of them. Now we've focused on, you know, we've focused on ports for a while. Let's focus on trade caravans if we can, if we see them available. Uh, and then Apamea Kibotos. Like, this inland trade center, let's have a look. It costs 3,000. Oh, look at that. Our trade is really, really ramping up now, which is so good. So let's focus on that for a little bit. Agora should help with that as well. And then the minor city of Tarsos over here. Even this one that's got 1,000. Let's have a look. 259. It's, it's nothing to sniff at. That is really good. Um, and then Elusa, which is a large town. Get those mines in there, actually. They're going to cost a lot and take a long time, but it's fine. Sewer in that region. Let's build the shrine to Hera. Zadrakata. Let's build you as well. Cool. 
I think we're good. I think we are very good. So let's uh, end the turn again. I'm getting So normally, it's kind of weird. We go through like a couple of episodes where, you know... Oh, inactive diplomat. We've got some inactive diplomats. Oh, let's talk to the Getai. Let's have an alliance, shall we? Cool. So we have Pontus, Getai, Epirus, and Atropatine as our allies. I really want... Bosporans to be our allies as well. We've got a lot of enemies. <laughs> uh, and a lot of trade partners. I mean, trade is the main thing. But yeah, Bosporans would be a good option to get trade uh, and alliances from. So let's uh, let's go for that. But yeah, I don't know how big the Getai are. I should have oh, got map information, but whoops. Oh, well. Kyrene is still our protectorate. Which I'm quite glad by, honestly. But they will probably betray us at some point. But when they do, we have a ready-made army down this way that can, uh, you know, deal with it. So, let's end the turn. That spy's going to work out what's going on. We're getting our diplomat up there to talk to the Sarka. If we can ally the Sarka, that would be great. Ideally, I don't even want to border them. So, you know. Ah, but we will. We will end up bordering them. Adrissians, you want a ceasefire? I mean, you declared war on me for absolutely zero reason. Oh, I'll take a ceasefire so I can get trade rights. What about an alliance against all the... Okay, go for map information, for map information, and then you give me, like, 5,000 gold, because I have a lot of map information. That's too much. How about 2,000? That's balanced. Would you consider yeah, I'll accept a thousand. That's fine. Uh, not like we're, you know, struggling for money, <laughs> to be honest. Uh, but we need to keep expanding because we were at about, our peak's been about 66,000 gold. And now it's we're down to 59,000 with our increasing recruitment. Ideally, you want your growth to outstrip your recruitment capability in terms of money. So that you're always growing with money. I know it's not always possible. But it is a good thing to be able to do. Settlement besieged. They're still besieging it down. What I might do is send these guys down here and just relieve it. I don't know why I didn't do that earlier. And you should win that so easily. So we're going to come forward. We'll auto-resolve that. And then we'll come back up. And then are you happy now? No, really upset. So we're... Rebuild those. Have we got any mercenaries available? Oh, we do again. Let's get them. This is the mercenary army after all. Retinue expands. Mercenary captain. Faction announcements. Cool. Most advanced faction. Thank you. Not Carthage, please. <laughs> and yeah, we're building in a lot of places, which is great. Some more ports as well. Right. Let's... We're going to move kind of slowly through this land and build watchtowers. I know they cost a thousand, but you guys want me to build more watchtowers, so I will do. We'll build each watchtower kind of just a bit beyond the edge of the other. This is still my land, so this is actually my farming going on over here. So where is, you know, the border? The border's right up here. It's up here, so I'm, I'm sure it's just nestled in here. But I guess we'll find out. <laughs> Where are those boys? Yep. Keep moving, boys. Keep moving. And then Karakata. Are we building still? Yes, we are. We're building the sewers. That's fine. So we've got that quite a lot of mercenaries in this army. It's not really got much infantry, though, so it's not great for a siege. But it would be quite a strong army with all those horse archers to go after Kauris. You know, we could supplement it with a few more troops and some archers. Um, but yeah, it's fine. I mean, they're coming to test their luck, but they're not going to get anything. Over here, let's auto-resolve this. 126 he killed, but it's fine. Enslave, and it's good. It's Greek. Which is fantastic. Rebuild that. Temple of Osiris. I mean, I'm... 
I'm happy to repair that for now if it allows us, a, um, you know, allows us to keep building on that path. I think the next thing is probably the roads. Get rid of this. Have we built that recruitment hub yet? Not quite. Next turn we will. So then we can start, you know, sending these guys down. And I'm thinking we can send two already. Yeah, so you guys want to get in there. And then we can just carry on marching down the way with these boys to Elefantine Siena. Two towns have grown from that enslavement. We've got Tagai up this way. And we've got Lydakia Katakaumene. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> Said that perfectly. Um, yes, we've also got this battle. 288. Wow. Oh, I hate it when it does that. I hate it when it does that. <laughs> these are such valuable troops as well. But anyway, first battle's done with these good troops. Oh, we got Seleucid. Oh, it's our... It was our city, wasn't it? So let's get rid of some of their temples. I didn't look at what that one did because it looked quite good then. So we'll get rid of their temples. We've also got the uh, the Colony 2 Greek here, which is great. Uh, Execution Square, definitely want that. Let's pop in the... We could go for the Colony 3 Greek straight away, but no. I think we'll go for the Shrine to Hephaestus. Oh, that spy's died, hasn't he? I, I, have we got anywhere around here where we can recruit another spy? Oh, we're just... Lagging slightly. Hello. There we are. Oh, no. We can get a diplomat. 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 <laughs> oh, spy. Good. Cool. Let's get a spy so we can see where we're, you know, going. Oh, we can also uh, straight away recruit here, which is great. So we could get a Greek Pelta straight away. And then where were we building... Yeah, we were getting some more Akontistai over here. So let's get you guys through towards the uh, towards Tyana so we can move from Tyana straight away. Got another town that's grown, which is great. Fantastic. It's good to see. Got a grudge-holding slave Antigonos now. That's not good to see. <laughs> right, you boys should all be able to get in there. Let's just swap you completely so we know what we're doing. Uh, yeah. So I believe we've moved everyone we want to now. So let's retrain all of these boys. Keep on recruiting those Agira speeders over here. We can also retrain the Navy. So let's do that. And let's build. So, yep. Yeah. Let's go for Odessa. We are keeping on building on from the top at the minute. But what I might actually do is... Yeah, let's go from the bottom again. And uh, no, we, we miss the middle out all the time. So let's go through a few of these, like Philadelphia. And let's get, you know, some farming and some sewers in these places. Some basic amenities that they've not had access to because other, other regions have got a lot more investment. Um, so yeah, let's go for that. And Kaunos, let's go for the, like a trader. They don't even have traders. And then EOP, we can go for a shipwright. That gets a bit of extra trade, doesn't it? And then over here at Termesos, how are we looking for Greek? 51%. I think it's a good idea to get that second level colony in here, just to force it to be Greek. And then Selgate, get a basic trader. C-Day, how are we looking? 0% Greek at C-Day. Um... I haven't even got a level 1 colony, so let's go for that. Gaza. Hmm. Yeah, get the Shrine to Hero. We don't even have that yet there. So, yeah, and then land clearance. That's such a basic thing. You can tell these places where we've not built because they have, like, no farming. <laughs> uh, Memphis. Yeah, we've not built there for a while. And then Salamis. You know, what I'm going to do is, is just focus on one region at a time, I think, with uh, with the building from now on. And then let's get the Shrine to Hera over here at Pelusion. Cool. So, yeah. We are all good, I believe. So let's smash that end turn button again. 
So a lot more, you know, campaign management in this episode once again. But it, it, it always happens like that. You have a couple of episodes with some bloody battles and then you get a couple of episodes where, you know, everything starts to cool off a little bit and you're just managing the campaign, making sure everything's ticking over, taking a few minor settlements so you don't need to fight the battles. But yeah, you're not boss -parent. So keep going. Spies keep moving. I better check that region outside of that little blob to see whether that's actually Greek. Ah, Parthian spy. Great. That's what we like to see. Oh, that's going to give 15% unrest in there, and they're already pretty upset. <laughs> well, we can add some of the mercenary troops in there. Who was that that just declared war on us? God damn. They can't leave us alone, can they? They just see our ports and... Whoa. Was that just something glowing pink there? I thought, like, magic was happening then. I'm like, what's going on? Ah, <laughs> uh, crap yeah. I hate you. We have been at war for so long. The problem with the, the Seleucids, like, what we've uh, already established is just because our supply lines, our recruitment lines are so long and far. Like, if I was going to try and retrain this army now, I'd have to go all the way back to Pergamon. Which, like, how long? I mean, it's only two turns, but it's a long, long way. So let's uh, get out of Tyana. See what happens when we get inside Tyana. Oh, dearie me. You guys get in. Really? 25%. What's causing that? Culture penalty. Unrest of minus 45. Okay, I can understand that. 100. Garrison. Law. Tax bonus. Health. Hmm. If we build the Odeon, it allows gladiatorial games to be held. There's a lot of mercenaries available in this. The Galatian Thorakitai are very good. I think we'll have to start supplementing our armies with some Galatians. Um, but for now, anyway, at least we need to stay in the uh, in Tyana. That's got it up to 70, so I'm comfortable leaving it at that. Because if we get the Odeon, we can then build the uh, the games and all that sort of thing, and we'll be fine. Diplomat, let's come down. I want to talk to the Bosporans, please. Come on, why are you uh, struggling so much? Oh, here the Bosporans are. Cool. That's just really not helped, has it? Well, let's use these, this army to mop up those first. So that's the only place that's rioting right now. Adrissians again. They can't help it, can they? Let's sort these guys out. We've got a Kilos who's come of age. So we can start, you know, manning some of these cities further and further out. Like Taioki over here. So a Kilos. Let's get you Ty Taioki. You can actually go all the way. Good. It's not helped, but it should help soon when you get a few retinues, that sort of thing. This guy's got four command, bro. You're going straight to Sardis to be the leader of the next army that we're recruiting over there. And Anaxarxos. Oh, wow. Got two. Yeah, Diodotus is in there for when you die. We'll stick Anaxarxos in here. He's got three management already. That's quite good. Uh, Olganos over this way. You're only 46, so we don't need to worry, you know, about you too much. I mean, you're 65, and you're the only thing holding that settlement together. So I think that's probably a good option is sending you to, uh, Phacelis. Cool. Carthage apparently is the most advanced faction again. God damn. Bloody hell. Ah! Oh, well. Yeah, we did a lot of building. Where's that recruitment coming from? Iconion, Alexandria, Ariane. We are still building Chalcospides. Pergamon. 
four Agira Speeders there. I think we'll go for two more. And then uh, we should retrain you boys. And how many is this a four I do we have? We need one more. I can't wait to get Cataphracts. That's going to be so good. I don't think the recruitment of these guys will, will make... Will remove their experience. I'm hoping not anyway. Because we got a gold experience. Their Operoi over here. Look at that. 44 defense. 20 melee attack. 22 missile attack. They're pretty, pretty beastly. Pretty beastly. But anyway. Uh, you guys are still recruiting. Good. Now in the north. What can we do? We're just waiting here. You need to, you know, take out these boys. We'll auto-resolve it, of course. Tiny battle, no point fighting that. And then we'll fight you as well. And then hopefully we can actually pop back. Why won't you let me attack them? There we are. That was weird. 210 casualties for us. That's a bit obscene. Okay, we've made them happy again. That's really good. So, I think we go for the Odeon as well. Which allows us to have gladiatorial games, which is very good. So, let's come forward. Build another watchtower. And hopefully, can we see a settlement yet? <laughs> Where is it? Is that it? Where is the settlement? Oh, we're in there. Oh, now we're in their territory. Cool. Let's come up this way. Where is it? <laughs> I could have sworn it's like... Around here somewhere. <laughs> That's so weird. Um, it's in this region somewhere. Maybe it's right on the coast there. I don't, I don't actually know. That is very strange. Uh, you're, and you're coming across. Wait, no, this is a rebel settlement. Yes, I'm not bothered about taking a rebel settlement. So they've got a settlement up here somewhere. Yes. So we should probably come that way. And then there's another one in here somewhere. I don't know where it is. <laughs> So, okay, this is a Bactrian settlement. Oh, god damn. This is so confusing. <laughs> this is unbelievably confusing. Right, can we leave? It looks like we will be able to because it's a Greek settlement. We're just absolutely destroying the, uh, the remnants of the Ptolemies. There's nothing of them left, though, now, is there? There's literally nothing of them left. That's their capital now. Keep on recruiting. Probably a few more of those. Oh, and we can also retrain these boys. Nice. And we can actually send them down to join them again. So we've done there. We've done our movement up here. Have we done? Yeah, we've done our movement over this way. Last bit of recruitment uh, and retraining. And yeah, we're good. So let's do our building once again. Uh, and what I'm going to do this time... Is we're going to focus on a region. We're going to focus up here. Because we haven't really built in this region for quite some time. So let's have a look at what we want to build. And we'll, we'll take it slow-ish. We'll just build the uh, that there. Because there's no point trying to... See, this is a lot better option to try and make Greek. Well, this is native culture Greek. Hmm. And it's still Iranian. That's quite scary. This is 10% Greek. I think we go for, like, the execution square here. Like, how much money do we have corruption-wise? 545. Quite a lot. Hecatompolos. Let's build the trade caravan. How much money will that bring in? 475. That's just crazy. Um, and then, you know, a bit of a... Market in this region. And then Zadrakata. Thinking we go for the sewers. Keep them happy. How is the Greekness here? Actually, no. We're going to go try and make you Greek. Let's go for that level 3 colony. 
You guys get up to Nisa. Let's build in Nisa while they're unhappy. Let's straight away build. Can't build the uh, sewer because we already have. So let's build that shrine to Hera. We've got one more turn before these guys get there. So that's fine. Then let's have a look at Alexandria Susia. No, there's nothing we want to build there. Let's build the shrine to Hephaestus in Bizpaltis. Uh, where else have we got regions? Articana down here. Uh, no happiness to be found. Apart from the wooden wall. So let's build that. Um, and then what about these regions like Alexandria Prosphasia? Let's build the Odeon. The Odeon is definitely a good idea to build because... You know, it allows you to build, put the uh, gladiatorial games on when they get unhappy and really sort them out. So let's build the other Temple of Hero up this region. And then in here, let's build, you know, another Temple of Hero again. <laughs> Caracata, we definitely do want to build. I think we'll build that. And then again, another Temple of Hero to keep them nice and happy. So, yeah, we're building all around this region. Let's come down south to Alexandria Carmania. Let's build the Odeon. Yeah, we've got nothing else that'll be quick and fast. 68% for these regions is not, not great uh, at all. Passa. Let's go. Yeah, let's just build those temples in so that we're covered for the happiness, making sure we're not too unhappy. Let's go for the Shrine to Hephaestus there, and then... No, not the Shrine to Hephaestus, the Shrine to Taiki. Yeah, cool. Stakra 2, I think that's the best option. Actually, no. Execution Square. Execute those fools! So we've built all around our f uh, far eastern satrapies. So what I think we'll do is we'll actually start at the bottom of the Nile and look whether we can, you know, keep building up this region next. Because it's quite a good region. You know, all these places are Greek. We don't need to worry about the, you know, public order. So we can really start pumping out a lot of money in this area. So to keep them happy, keep them healthy. And start getting some serious cash from this region. Extract the cash. Extract the cash. So let's end the turn there, guys. I know we've been doing a lot of campaign management. I'm sorry, we will probably have a battle quite soon. I thought we'd be fighting Cappadocia very soon. I thought that big army that they had would really, you know, come after us. But now we do have another big army at Sardis ready to go. Um, and they're going to go for Halicarnassus first and then up into the north. We'll probably retrain them as we go along the way at Sardis once again. Because there's no point not, if that makes sense. That, that pink pink diplomat or spy looks really really glowing they look like they're glowing oh well civil disorder we got two we got one at nisa oh nisa's happy now that's fine and then seleucia cali oh we need that back in let's recruit one more of those and i think that'll be fine Apamea Sitakane. And then we have Elusa that's uh, upgrading. Cool. Nice. And then another agent for Cappadocia. We get we come back to being the uh, you know best, most advanced nation. And then we have Sardis over here. Everyone is ready. And look. Oh, yeah. And they didn't lose any experience. And they've all got silver uh, armor and uh, weapons. Well, bronze weapons for some of them. Right, let's take these boys. Auto-sort them. They are auto-sorted already. Uh, in fact, yeah, you need to go to the front. And then let's get... Yeah, four. Experienced boys, in fact. We'll take the experienced ones. Get in there. And then we're going to go for Halicarnassus that rebelled against us. And we'll probably exterminate them as well. Because of that foolish behavior of, uh, you know, 
turning against us. And then what we'll do is we'll start building in some hypastists here. Can we get hypastists here? No. We need better. We need a better city. So let's build that in Sardis. Try and get it upgrading because I know we're recruiting a lot. So we are reducing the population here. But ideally, I want it to get up to the next level of city. So we've moved these boys down this way. Now the Cappadocian boys. How do you feel if I leave now? He's got three influence, so there's no chance. Yeah, instantly down to 30%. That's obscene. That is not good. Where is that guy that I sent from over here that has a really good... It's a really good general, yeah. You keep going to Sardis. You are going to be the general. The general of the generals. What is your name, by the way? Alketas. Remember that name, boys, because he will do some very good work in the next few years. Uh, now, up here. Yep, you get into there. That the Basically, every single next city that we come up against um, is the capital. <laughs> Then we've got two more there, and then we're going to have to march across here. But what I'm going to do is just check. Yeah, no, that is the rebel land over here. here. Troga Ditike. Epitheron. Yeah, no, they don't have an... It doesn't look like they have another settlement down here, but there is a few. They're all quite well garrisoned, though. Although these guys aren't very good. Although, yeah, they got towered forest elephants, which... It's quite good... Quite a good unit. Can we get elephants, actually? No, no elephants available. Oh, well. Well, you keep on recruiting. I'm going to send these boys down here. And Ty, because he's still going on campaign at 59. What a boy. What a legend of a boy. He has been legendary for so long. Okay, these guys look like they're going to siege us down. Now, how much infantry do we actually have in this army? Very, very little. It's never really great, is it? <laughs> For a siege battle defense. Any mercenaries available? I mean, we just absolutely just took all the mercenaries last turn. Oh, no, there is. Median cataphract. Yes, please. They are so good. But we need to recruit at least one more infantry unit. Now. Ah, oh, there it is. So... Now it's kind of like, do we go... If I just... I think we go straight for that because... We don't actually know where the settlement is in this region. So you come over here, see whether you can actually see it. You still can't see it. Where is it? Is it just in this little corner here? But at least we've got that one under, under siege... I mean, that diplomat, if we could get maybe a ceasefire with Bactria for a turn or two, we could maybe get map information from them, and they might it might reveal where that is, but yeah, I doubt it. But we also got a spy down here, didn't we? Where was it? One of these regions. Oh, yeah, yeah. So let's get you back up over here, looking at what's going on. We'll go straight up to there, and then we'll come around to this one. So I believe that is everyone moved once again. So let's focus again on the Nile. We built in this region. Yeah, building, building, building. Zestes isn't building, though. Let's build the Shrine to here. Get that law so we're not losing so much money. Let's get that Inland Trade Center. Let's see. Yeah, we're losing about a quarter to corruption in a lot of these regions. Oh, you can upgrade. I didn't realize that. Let's build the, uh, uh, the, the markets. Alexandria. want to keep building up Alexandria, of course. Trying to hear her here. How much money are you losing? Only 288, actually. So what would happen if I, say, built this? That's quite a bit extra trade. That's quite nice. Oh, that execution square just destroys that corruption. So let's go for that, Alexandria. Let's go for Tanis. Let's see what we want to build. Probably the market. Pelusion. Let's build the sewers. Now we can move over to this region. So, like Petra. Although we have Raithu first, actually. 
let's build those paved roads so that we can move through this region a little bit better. I want kind of like a few highways where we have paved roads all the way to some regions. Gaza, let's go for... Are we Greek in any way? Oh, we could actually we could actually start converting here. That would be great. And then Jerusalem, let's have a look at the conversion. 15% we have to get up to, but we're only on colony one. So we could actually get past that and start converting Jerusalem, which would be great. Um, how about over here? I mean, we can join the party. If we can get all this area converted to Greek, that'd be so good for the public order in this region. Bostra. Oh, I've forgotten to move. My goddamn army. What am I doing? I've left them in Antioch. That's quite disappointing. I'm sure many of you have been screaming that. <laughs> oh, we haven't even re retrained them. Okay, one more turn's not going to help. What's not going to harm us, but I would prefer to be able to retrain these guys in two turns rather than three. Was that it? Uh, we're going to have to, you know. Start getting rid of a few of these. I want to keep the one in Jerusalem. I prefer not to get rid of those colonies, actually. I prefer to get rid of a few of these buildings. That are not so important. Uh, uh, well, well, we'll come back to you. So we've got 15,000 in the bank. Hopefully that's enough to retrain all of these boys. Yeah, it is. And then we'll probably build in Tanis over here. We'll build that. Then Memphis. We'll build that. And then, yeah, Pelusion. Build that. And that should be it. Let's end the turn again. Oh, it might be all campaign management today, boys. <laughs> I don't know. I quite like it. Alliance. A most welcome okay, trade rights then. A most welcome friend. We'll offer you map information. For, you know, like, maybe 3,000? And then also your map information. <laughs> uh, well, maybe like 1,500? Would you consider... Okay, well, we'll perhaps. accept that. Get to see where they are. Get to see where they're going and where they are. Oh, here we are. Your rebel, though. So now we're trading with the Bosporans, which is good. Those guys have gone into Nisa. We'll get one other person across to Alexandria, uh, Alexandria Ariana or something, or whatever it's called. Space bar. Yep, I knew they were going to do that. I think we can defend that, though. The one thing is, are, will they actually attack, or will they just wait there? Um... I don't know. I don't know. I guess we'll see. And also, we have our Chalka Speeders. Yes, if we send our Chalka Speeders north now. So we have you. And you menace. You're going to come across to here and try and, you know, sort this region out. Build a little watchtower in here as well. So we've not so blind. You guys, now, if we get our Chalka Speeders. Ooh, let's just put it down to 68%. Uh, just build one more of those, just to be safe. We've got so many garrisons now as well. I should really, at some point between episodes, go through the garrisons. Have we got... Oh, how have we gone down to 48,000? We were on 66,000 at some point. We had a lot of people coming of age. Maybe it's that. We've got to build all these as well. That's probably actually... Antiochus' army uh, sorting itself out. So you're at Seleucia as well. God damn. Is there any other really old people? Yep. Yeah. You get in there into Uruk. And then Selefkos, you're over here. I think maybe Arsoni... Arsino... That one. Whatever. <laughs> However you say it. 
Settlement besieged. Oh, I'm sorry we've not got a battle yet this episode, guys. I'll try and keep going until we get one. But it might we just might not get one. It's it's one of those episodes where you have to do all your, your building, all that sort of thing. But if that big army's around here somewhere, we should be able to go and, you know, have a go at them next episode next turn. Uh, we'll keep on recruiting these boys. You get into Sardis. Um, so, these boys, yeah. We might have this as the uh, the battle. Battle for Halicarnassus once again. They don't look like they've got much there, honestly. Uh, yep, you guys have moved, and then we need to retrain you boys. Let's get up into this region. I'm hoping that Bactria, if Bactria attacks, that would be great. Now, this own, they only have one guy. Watch it be... Oh, 162, apparently. That one guy killed. That's just crazy. <laughs> Organized herds, of course. We're going to get rid of that. They don't even have a recruitment here. Let's go straight for the... Trying to hear her, that should help. I'm going to keep looking around this region because surely that rebel settlement must be around here somewhere. Where is it? Where is it? Unless it's the one that's like, there's one that's like right over, over here somewhere. Unless it's that one. Maybe it is that one. I, I don't know. Um, so... Okay, so this is the region with the Parthian settlement in. Where it is, nobody knows. <laughs> but at least we took Aspabota up here. Karakata's still building. You're doing... You're there. You're moving up. Let's get down over this way. No point fighting that, is there? Antiochus the Builder. I think he should be called Antiochus the Great. Honestly. And Slave. We've got a runner. Uh, oh, we've we've pretty much destroyed everything inside here. Get rid of the Seleuci uh, Ptolemaic recruitment. Build. Trying to hear us straight away. And then... Yeah, we should start moving some of these guys down soon as well. Well, in fact, when I say soon, I mean now. Very close to being able to destroy the Ptolemies, which is nice. Right, let's retrain the rest of this army. And then let's keep on building up this region. Places that we had to destroy the buildings last time. Let's go for that dockyard. That'll be nice. Arsino Crocodilion. Yeah, you need that. Let's build the inland trade center over here. And then Zestes can build the market. And then, yeah, we'll move across to this area. Petra. We Yeah, we are building in Petra. And then let's start looking at, you know, making these regions more Greek if we can. We don't quite have the money for that right yet. So let's go for the Shrine to Hera there. Seed on Heliopolis, Syria. That really needs to... Oh no, we have upgraded so we can actually start increasing the public order around there. I mean, we could go after that army without a general. But that's got three generals in that army, so I prefer not to. <laughs> I wonder whether if we came across here, we could make them happy with that extra three, three boyos. I think we probably could. Let's end the turn again. Maybe we'll, maybe we'll find a battle somewhere. <laughs> There's just not been any opportunity to have a battle anywhere. I don't know what's uh, what's going on. We've just been building up. If Bactria, please, but oh, have we passed Bactria yet or not? I don't know. Let us pass Bactria. Uh, no, that's Massalia. Oh, there's Bactria. Oh no, they didn't. They didn't actually attack on the siege. Oh well. Oh well, they can siege it down as long. 
I want them to attack, though. I want to have a defensive siege. That The AI seems very reticent to attack in siege battles. Um, Arte. You're 25, so yeah, I'll accept that. Where are you? You're in Memphis, actually. That's quite good. Because we should be getting some more people managing cities up here. So, yeah, you get into there. Two more cities have expanded. Let's try and do this quickly so we can get moving with our armies and actually get a battle, maybe, <laughs> at some point. Seleucia Selefkos has died. So, yeah, we've got Polyferikon, or whatever he's called, rioting in Gabai. So, repair that. First things first, what... Um I mean, that would help. But let's get the two temples in there. Earthquake in Rhodes. Actually didn't do anything. Oh, well. Killed 4,000 citizens. That's it. Oh, well. Oh, no. Uruk got another level 2 colony Greek. Cool. Right then. Let's see. Have we got our army fully retrained? We do. Let's auto-sort these boys. You boys need to come across here. Right, Antiochus the Angry, my friend. We're going to come up into Cappadocia. I think we're going to go for Metilene first, because it's the most northeastern one. I'm not going to take too long to get there. We will be transgressing against uh, Armenia. Uh, but that's okay. Not too bothered. Now, let's see. Now we've got this. We go for... How do you normally do that? Yeah, you go on here, don't you? Let's go daily games. It costs us a little bit of money, but it's not too bad. If I take you out now, can you be happy? We go for monthly games. Yes, you can. Fantastic. I was hoping we could go after Mithridates up here, but we might actually come and attack us now, which would be yes. glorious. You can go in Tyana for the time being, and then we'll come north. So, yeah, we might get a battle. <laughs> we might eventually get a battle, guys. Oh, my God. <laughs> what an episode. Campaign management extravaganza. You know, if I was not calling my episodes after the intros... I would probably call it this the campaign management extravaganza. But anyway, yeah, we've done this region. So we're going to come round into the Middle East, uh, into Judea, and start going up north into Phoenicia, and start building these regions up as well now. And as I say, we're going to try and prioritize Greek colonies, because a lot of this land is, is very mixed up in terms of the culture. So... You know, it's a bit easier... Well, not this one. It's a bit easier for these southern ones to become Greek. And once that happens, we can then make these northern ones Greek as well. So, but apart from that, for these ones, because they're not going to get become Greek very easily, let's start building up a bit of our road system, our road network in this region, and building up these regions as well. Once we get up to Antioch, what I'm going to then do is go across to Crete and see whether we can... Um, sorry, Cyprus, not Crete. And, yeah, see whether we can build a couple of these dockyards up a little bit more. Uh, let's go for that. And then Paphos. Let's go for the shrine. And that's that built. Cool. Baroya. Anything to build up in Baroya? Mm, no. Oh, well. Cool. Let's... Uh uh, yeah. yeah, this we should really focus on building here. I should have... Let's get rid of the building in Baroya. That should be enough to build the roads up in Aspabota. And then we need to find where this region actually is. Oh, there it is! I believe that is their last region. No, Ribia! So they've taken this region now as well. <laughs> oh! Parthia just basically running away from us. Like, as we go along. 
We need troops up there. If I got rid of you, would you be happy? Still are. So what about you as well? Suddenly gone unhappy. 66% though. I think that's fine. I think that's fine, yep. Yeah. I'm so confused about this region down here. I, I'm sure, I was sure it was like here. But I must be thinking of Asperbota. But anyway, it doesn't matter. We'll come, uh, we'll bring this spy. Uh, this spy can now go... That spy can now go into Bactria again. You found what you needed to find. Actually, no. Keep moving north. Because we need to find where this region starts and ends as well. Oh, God. It's an absolute nightmare up here. It's such long distances. <laughs> Let's end the turn. Let's see whether Crapadochi have the balls to attack us. Because I don't think they do. Yep, that's fine. Just leave that for now. Chalka Speeders are coming up. You're moving in there. We've got a lot of people moving around. <laughs> Just press space so it moves a bit better. Okay, no. Nope. Don't don't space then. Don't do it. <laughs> oh, campaign management extravaganza, boys. Extravaganza. We have been building up our nation. Uh, suddenly got a lot less money, but yeah, that is because of all the recruitment and all the armies we are fielding now. I'm still happy with, a, you know, around 50,000 a turn. Ideally, I, I think we would need to be building in every region. I think we would probably need to be at about 150k a turn right now for the amount of settlements we have. Which is quite a considerable amount. <laughs> oh my god, look at that army. If we get closer, can we see more of that army? It's all horse archers. Are you kidding me? I mean, if they wanted to sally out of their own city, that would be fine. I think we'd be able to do okay there. Let's have a look for any oldies. You're only 42. 30. I think we've replaced all the oldies now. I think we have. Ye oh, apart from you. So, where were you? Giras. Needs to come up to... I think it was Artemetia, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. So, you're going up there, Giras. Um, you. Oh, we can do that battle. No, we can do the Cappadocian one, I think, would be better. You can go in my Lissa with the, uh, the oldie there. And then Antiochus. How many is only 50, which isn't too bad. Uh, let's get you to Adramitium. There we are. Another worthy life ends. And Dragoras the Kind has died, unfortunately. Oh, well. Not the best army in the world, so I think we can defend against that quite easily. How many turns, though? Before they just take it. Six turns. We've got ages. While we're up here as well, let's keep on building up this region. Oh, look at that. It's come. It's becoming Greek. So let's get that colony there. And that should really improve the Greekness. You need to keep moving. You can come to there. Because it's going to be a while before we actually move from there. And you can come into this region to try and find... Wherever this goddamn settlement is. It could be anywhere in here. Goddamn. Oh my god. What a nightmare. Right, let's have a battle, guys, shall we? <laughs> let's have a battle. Let's fight Crapadocia. With our new and improved troops as well. Let's go for it. Big battle against Cappadocia. We've not had a proper battle against Cappadocia for... Since probably like... Episode 5 or something. So, I'll see you on the battle map, guys. Here we are. It's quite a good battle map as well. So, let's get the Hypastis. Need to go either side. 
They're going to be probably up there on top of the hill. If we get the high pass this side aside for the flanking maneuvers. And we'll get the archers just in there. And then all the cavalry plus Antigonos. Let's see what Antigonos is made of. Oh, no. They actually didn't go over there. That's weird. So don't run, everyone. Just walk. We don't need to run. Get quite a wide formation with those boys. And you guys get there and there. Uh, cavalry. Are they just withdrawing? Please don't tell me they're just withdrawing. That would be so, so annoying. So, let's speed this up. They split their army in two. Which is slightly weird. I think we're just going to focus on this right-hand side. Let's run, actually. Let's get us moving. Get us warmed up. Uh, and I'll get the cavalry, we'll group you guys, and then we'll group you guys, and we'll group you guys. I'm going to try and use groups a little bit more nowadays, guys. Uh, it is a little bit easier. I do quite like not using them. I don't know why, I've just never really used them, so... But I should, I should. Definitely should. Right, once everyone's in place, we'll give them a little bit of a rest. How much... Yeah, they're still fresh. Warmed up, fresh. So let's come forward. Get those guys there. I think the high pastis on this left flank won't flank. They can protect our flank. These guys definitely can flank, though. They've spread their army right out. In fact, what I'm going to do is bring three units of cavalry this side to... to to ward off any charges, so we'll group you guys up as well. Where are they going? If they start withdrawing, I'll be so angry. Like, why would they engage in the battle? You can stay here. What are you? Skirmish a cav. Oh, God. I hate those fools. What are they doing? This is so weird. Let's get forward. High pass is going to have to run quite far. <laughs> they really don't like engaging phalangites in the front for some reason. I mean, well, obvious reasons. Let's just get you back. We're going to get you back. I really don't want to take jabbies from those boys. I know we will have to at some point. Oh! Phalanx. Everyone get in phalanx mode. Apart from you guys, you can come around. Uh, archers, let's get you back slightly. Asian Royal Bodyguards, of course. Very good unit. Well, I might have to get those high pastis in there. They should do a decent job against it. Oh, it's 44. This should be their king then. Right, you boys. Nope, not phalanx. Are these guys withdrawing? No. Nope. High pastis over here. Cavalry over here. Quick, quick, quick. Cavalry. Okay, the high passes have got in the fight now. Yeah, now they're really starting to fall. Cappadocian cavalry over there. My cavalry is just at a standoff with them. What I think I'm going to do is get you guys over here to protect this flank. You guys get there. What I want you to do, you two to do is that. And then what we're going to do is bring you guys up here to fight these guys. What are they? Just light spearmen. And we're going to get the 
cavalry in there so we can charge them in the back. You guys can stay there. I, I'm not too bothered about taking a few javi shots. They'll, once they've used all their javi shots. Oh, wait, what are you doing, bro? I didn't say charge them, did I? You guys get there. Let's get you through that way. Cool. Yeah, this is going to be brutal. Absolute sandwich. Oh, phalan phalanx units are so shit on the attack. <laughs> it's so annoying trying to maneuver them on attack. Um, what have we got in here? Make sure you've got your spears down, boys. The high pastors are doing quite well there. I think they might be looking to charge soon. Get there. You guys get in them. Let's go. If we can engage them, we can engage them with our phalangites. So that's good. The enemy king is routing. You guys come that way. Okay, we broke all of them there. I think one of you should be able to catch up to those boys. Right, let's come round. What are you? Oh, you're another Asian royal bodyguard. Okay. I would like to kill Mithridates the king. Go, 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 go. You guys go after him. And then you two let's get out of here. Get up there. You are the, just the high pastists. You guys need to face this way. The rest of them are withdrawing. So we need to chase them down. Embarrassing loss for them. Guys, what are you doing? Oh, fucking hate how they're so shit at staying in formation. Like, what is this? They just choose the wrong formation all the time. They face the wrong way. Oh, honestly, I just much prefer using other infantry than than phalangites. Phalangites are so good in defense. Just attackers, they're just absolutely woeful. Like, so shockingly bad. Did we kill the king? Yes, we did. Oh, well, that's one good thing that's come out of this battle. Uh, rest of you, kill the rest of them. And how many did we kill then? Um, so we haven't fully destroyed the army, but we've done a good job. Get them. Kill them all. Nice. We did lose quite a lot of troops in a couple of those regiments. But look at those. 149 for the Agira Speeders. Very nice. Uh, you know, some of the archers took a bit of damage, but... Yeah, this Chalk Speed is 116. That's pretty good, but took a lot of damage. Just annoying that the uh, the healed casualties were the archers rather than, you know, Chalk Speed as that sort of thing. But anyway, we, we won, so it's fine. It's fine. We won and pushed them back, and hopefully we can take the next settlement. So that's good. I'll see you on the campaign map, guys. Ah, nice. There we are. And now we can move straight on to Parnassos. And siege that down. You can see it's it's uh, bounded by Galatian territory. So this is that their the furthest one up in this region. But they have Cappadocia here. Yeah. They have Cappadocia up here. Which is Mazaka, I believe. You know, we are slowly starting to take Anatolia now. We do only have this thin strip of land... Where you can get through to our, you know, the tip of Anatolia here, which we have a lot of land in. Um, we've got you guys. You know, I think I'm going to do that as an actual siege battle next episode. Um, so we've got to remember that. Now, in terms of the other guys, you guys can get moving up to Metalene. 
Might be a little bit of transgression, but I'm sorry. We've got we've got out of the land anyway, so we didn't spend a turn in there. <laughs> uh, down in this region. Let's get our boys out. And then get you two in. You three, should I say? And next one. We've only got two more. Two more before it becomes rebel territory. So that's quite good. And then once we've got these two done, we can send them down. And that should be all we need, really. Um, you might as well come down this coast. Just have a look what's going on. So we moved down here. We've moved up here. How is this other army coming along? Gear of speeders and high pastists. It's quite it's coming along quite well, isn't it? We've got the four guys there. So now we just need some archers. Can we get archers from here? Yeah. Four archers. Then I think the rest of it, yeah, we'll just go with high pastists because you know, the Phalanges is just so annoying to use, so. <laughs> so let's have a look. One, two, three. Uh, well, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Plus a general is nine. Plus the four of those guys is 13. Plus the four of the, of the archers is 17. So we need three more units. So three more high pastists should be fine. Uh, although those are those three units, we could use those three. No, I'd prefer to use the high pass this, honestly. These guys, you know, they've served their purpose now, really. We'll keep them around just in case. We'll probably, you know, integrate them into this army or another army that we recruit later on. So we've done that. We've come up to here. We've got the uh, Antiochus the Angry moving. In the far north, we are just obviously sitting... In this settlement, sitting in Karakata, and we are waiting at Antiochi Marginai. You can come and join Eumenes. We should really sally out on these boys at some point. Hmm, and we should arrange it the way we want them to come out, but we will do we will do that uh, at some point. And you guys are all all right. Cool. Now I think 68% oh, over here. Let's build that. Now what we're going to do is we're going to focus on public order for a little bit. So let's go for public order. And there we are. And make sure that we're keeping all these places happy. Because we don't want rebellions. We don't want unhappy people. So yeah, let's go go for that and then let's just queue in that one as well and Articana can't really do much about your unhappiness to be honest yeah there's really not much we can do there let's just keep building have we got yeah just get a prodromoy I know it's not ideal but uh, it's just something we're gonna have to do do we want the stone wall? No, probably not. Um, let's go for the public health. Nisa, let's go for the Odeon. The Odeon's really good, like I said, because if they get bad, you can, you know, bribe them with games. Bread and games. Alexandria Carmania, I think we'll go for that. And then Bizpoutis. Go for the Execution Square as well. It helps with uh, corruption as well, of course, so... It's not too much of a, of a problem uh, building the execution square. It's actually quite good because we're making them happy and getting more money at the same time. Uh, Nicomedia. Nicomedia has always been a problem, like a big problem. Selge. Let's go for the sewers. Tanis. Let's go for the Agora. And then Petra. Let's go for the sewers. Tarsos. Let's go for the Odeon. Uh, my Lisa sewers, of course. Smyrna, let's go for that shipwright. Get some more cash. Isonian, you can build the trader. Taoki, you can build. Hmm. 
We'll go for the Agora up there. It's a large city. On a Sinnoh, Kliz Clay Klyzma. Let's go for the market. And then have we got anything to build? Yeah, we can actually build that. Cool. Well then, guys. Well, I think that is everything for this episode. We've got to remember that we can do the battle um, next episode for Halicarnassus. So that should be good. But anyway, guys, please do like, subscribe, all that good stuff. It really does help the channel out. And I will see you all again on the next video.